Hello, I'm Ranger Russ at the Battle of Rivers Bridge State Historic Site, here to tell you about the breastworks located in our battlefield. Defensive fortifications like these were a formidable obstacle for attacking soldiers to overcome, while acting as a major force multiplier for the troops defending them, allowing a smaller number of soldiers to inflict heavier casualties on the enemy than they normally would in the open. The Confederate soldiers defending this position were protected almost entirely from head to toe thanks to the head log, a log that was suspended several inches above the top of the earthworks. Attacking Union soldiers would have to shoot between the head log and the top of the earthworks at a moving target, roughly the same size and shape as a large smartphone. All the while, the defending Confederate soldiers would be firing back at a much larger target. If you look closely, you'll notice a zigzag pattern along the breastworks. A zigzagged defensive line would enable defenders to fit more men in the trench than if it were just straight. And more men in the trench meant that more guns were facing and firing at an attacker. Additionally, the angles of a zigzag defensive line allow defenders to have overlapping fields of fire, meaning that an enemy would be getting shot at from multiple different directions and angles at the same time. Trying to rush a position like this would have been a very bad idea. You can visit these breastworks any day of the week from 9 a.m. to sunset.